Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas, I'm the part time thrifter, buying us online and Amazon for profit. So first of all a massive thank you guys, we're nearly at 2,000 subscribers, we're actually at 1,814. The, the idea of actually getting to 2,000 subscribers seems mad to me, considering that last year I spent about 4 months being between 28 and 42 subscribers, so I'm really really pleased with that. So I'm, I'm thankful for every single one of you guys that have actually subscribed or liked the video. Um, and today's video is a bit different, okay, today's video I'm going to actually show you what my bunker actually looks like uh, for us. Obviously you have seen it, uh, but um, I've tidied it up yesterday so I feel quite proud of it. So I wanted to show you the different sections of my bunker, uh, what I've got in a different section of the bunker, uh, how it actually works, um, what products I actually use for my reselling, what products I actually use for my video editing, yeah. So we're going to go straight into that really for us. So I will be moving the camera left, right and centre and uh, hopefully uh, it's actually quite a decent video for you guys. Right, so uh, first of all, uh, let's actually see what am I looking, if I'm not looking at the camera and uh, if I'm not looking at the camera guys, I am looking at this, yeah. So if I'm not looking at the camera, I am looking at this. So what have I got here? Well. First of all, I've got my fancy fireplace, yeah, so that in the bottom right is my fancy fireplace. Uh, I have got the camera there, so I've got a, a monitor, so I can actually see what I'm recording. And uh, on the top here for us, I've actually got simply some cells. Uh, I did think I was actually going to use them a lot more, uh, but you can see the bottom shelf is empty and then I've got some Funko Pop on the top, some of them need to be sold. Uh, I've got some Harry Potter books and um, yeah my brother got me this uh, Game of Thrones stand so I'm really pleased with that then I've got any uh, Apple product <laughs> boxes and obviously I've got my dad's pen collection on the left hand side which I need to actually turn them because uh, if you remember from the original videos uh, I used to actually have it uh, there I used to make sure that I had it across there for us so yeah that's why the pin collection is over there so uh, looking at this here let's see what else we've got so this is a lego set and i'll make sure that i actually put um the numbers also too as i'm actually doing this for you guys um so that is lego set i cannot mind uh you can actually make three things you can either make darth maul you can make kylo ren or you can make darth vader so darth maul looks amazing for me so that's why i've actually got them there uh, then we've actually got my Stormtrooper. Again, I should have actually bought him from TK Maxx. I bought him from TK Maxx, but uh, I should have actually bought... Uh, he had a Stormtrooper and he also had Darth Vader at the same time. Uh, I've not been able to actually find him ever since, unfortunately. Um, when I was when I was teaching at Manchester, uh, I had... And I'll lower this down a bit for you guys. Apologies. You can actually tell. So, obviously, the majority of the videos... Uh, about 99% of the videos I actually do them in one take um, so this is what this is actually so when I was teaching in Manchester there was a girl that could actually do the Rubik's Cube uh, in 54 seconds and uh, that got me into actually doing the Rubik's Cube the fastest I've ever done it is uh, I think a minute 40 but uh, I just thought it was quite interesting how she was doing it that fast and I thought well I need to actually be able to know how to do a Rubik's Cube so I can't actually do a Rubik's Cube. Uh, so these are what these are for, they're not just for the effects, it was literally just because I thought, well, uh, if she can do it, I need to be able to do it too. Um, we've got our Captain America, so if anyone's actually been looking at this channel for a while, you know obviously that I found him for a while, uh, maybe two, three months. I did buy him from the Avengers Limited Collection. Um, I thought 79.99 for the bundle was brilliant, considering I've sold everything. But then Game of actually have sold it now for thirty nine ninety nine, um, which is even better. Then we've got Ellie, yeah, uh, Ellie from The Last of Us up here. So Ellie from The Last of Us, uh, brilliant. I absolutely loved uh, playing the game Last of Us One. I've actually not played The Last of Us Two, uh, but I love playing Last of Us One. Uh, I would say playing that was as good as playing Bioshock for the first time. Or playing Destiny for the first time, really. Uh, it was actually quite brilliant. Uh, continuing on, obviously, we've got the Stormtrooper helmet here. Uh, I got that from uh, Zavi, really nothing crazy from that. Uh, I was able to actually buy four um, and 
buy four get one free that's what it was really the offer so that's the one that i've got free and the other ones have actually sold them um i've got my collection of books here i've actually have been in i'll oh, sorry here you go sorry um uh, my collection of books here for us uh, yeah, so I've got my collection of books. I've been reading a lot more at this moment in time um, I'm reading a book called uh, Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss and I generally thought I wasn't going to enjoy that um, Because it's uh, literally a chunk is 700 pages long, uh, but I'm already at 250 uh, Through a, it's, it's brilliant. It's an absolute brilliant book. So the the book Tools of Titans is basically snapshots of his podcast and he's got like three or four pages per person uh, which is brilliant to actually see their insight on that. Uh, other than that, I've enjoyed, the most I've actually enjoyed is The Psychology of Money, yeah, by Morgan Hazel. That's uh, the one I've actually enjoyed the most. And I would say the biggest impact that of what I'm doing and actually changing anything I'm actually doing is definitely being reached out per diary. Okay, so I saw Christos actually talking about it, so I thought, well, let's pick it up, okay? It's been there for 20 years, obviously it must be good. So it was actually brilliant. Uh, I need to actually make sure that changes my phrase. Okay, I've got a few good ones for us uh, marked uh, from the book actually, so I need to make sure that I do that. Um, lovely free, I think I imagine I've nicked this from my mum or something. Um, but yeah, that's there for us. Uh, we then actually have a chair. <laughs> uh, nothing fancy guys okay we're talking about 50 quid chair uh, nothing fancy and then we've actually got my lovely lego set okay so i absolutely do love my legos and uh, the good thing about these legos is they've all actually been free uh, due to me spending so much on lego so i accumulate my vip points and then actually buy that uh, this is how i've actually bought these um one of my favorite sets actually to build was this one here and obviously um, at some point the the figure of Karadin was actually selling for uh, 25 on its own so I sold it the whole set is 50 quid so this is why I actually thought I'll build it these two Transformers figures these have actually come all the way from Greece yeah um, so you probably need a PhD to actually bring these two back into the, the, the cast form but um, so I think they're actually both my brothers yeah uh, so they've actually survived him uh, playing with him and they're still actually brilliant I think the only problem that we've got is with this guy here part of his ear but they look absolutely amazing okay so those are vintage transformers so continuing with the office base let's see so we have got a road mic yeah so the road mic is something that my sister bought me for Christmas this year and uh, I've got this stand and it has actually made a difference in the quality of audio or so I believe anyways um, really for us and unfortunately because I have got a standing desk yeah so I've got a standing desk there going up and down that's what I mean a mechanical desk and um, I've got a new problem which was and if you saw on Instagram it is this year so I've got a put hole in but oh well and uh, let's actually have a look at my desk really okay my desk setup here so what I've actually got, right, so this is my desk setup, okay, this is what I actually go in and day in and day out. So what we've actually got, so we've actually got a 34 uh, widescreen monitor, yeah, so a 34 widescreen monitor that we've picked up for 150 quid from Facebook Marketplace, that was a really good pickup for us. Uh, this here is a stand which allows me to put it up and down, yeah, I could actually even turn it if I wanted to. Um, and that was actually purchased from Amazon for 30 quid. Um, we've got uh, an iPad Pro, yeah, so this is an iPad Pro with a pencil. I loved using it for school, uh, but I'd actually bought it <laughs> to use it myself, yeah, because I was doing quite a lot of tutoring at the time. And I actually bought it for 400 quid cash again on Facebook Marketplace, and it was brand new. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I could have sold it for 600 straight away, but I was really pleased with that, and I kept it for myself. And the desk has been wrapped with a uh, simple vinyl wrap, yeah. So all I've done is I've actually just put this vinyl wrap here in it. So design fully, DC fix. Uh, so I bought this from Homebase, yeah. Uh, it wasn't actually even Homebase, I think it was um, B&Q, sorry, I'm lying. So it was B&Q, so I bought it from B&Q and 
hence as to why it might look like wood. Uh, all it is, the desk is actually my mum's kitchen counter, okay? <laughs> That's what it actually is, uh, the old kitchen counter that we took. Um, then we've actually got uh, a Keychron keyboard, yeah? Uh, it's a mechanical keyboard, which sounds amazing, yeah? And again, uh, I am not one to shy about it. I did pick it up from Facebook Marketplace. I couldn't believe my luck. Um, I was looking for it, but I didn't want to pay 80 quid. Yeah, I didn't want to pay 80 quid, and uh, hence as to why, uh, I just thought, may as well type it on Facebook Marketplace, and you never know, you might actually get something, Nick. And um, yeah, <laughs> I was actually able to find it for 40 quid. Biggest expenditure, I would say, but it's been a brilliant, uh, has been this Logitech MX Master 3. Uh, I did pick it up for, I think it was 110 quid on Amazon, uh, but it's been brilliant for me for editing videos, uh, especially going using this when going on iMovie to go left and right uh, and actually co uh, copy and paste and so on, really. So say, for example, this mild video, I could use this and I move the screen left and right. It makes a big difference for me. And uh, just ergonomical because I've got quite big hands, so it's just nicer for us. Um, even though I've got a Rode uh, mic and I've paid 150 quid, unfortunately, you can only actually use it if you buy uh, one of these, okay, which is three quid and a Rode adapter. Uh, so I've got to connect it in the back of the Mac Mini and then connect it if I wanted to use that as a speaker. At the moment in time, I've connected this to my camera. Uh, continuing on, we've actually got a Mac Mini. It's a 16 gigabyte Mac Mini. Um, I was always thinking, do I pull the trigger or not? But what sold me on it, it was the fact that I could actually get free AirPods with it. So I paid, actually, it didn't get, I got, I paid 90 quid and I got AirPod Pros. I know, right? But business expense, okay, that's the pleasure of actually having a limited company. You can't put actually stuff like that uh, as a business expense because I am using it for my business. Um, also, we've got this here. If you're thinking, uh, this is my uh, internet. Okay, so it's just a Hawaii um provided for us from uh three and actually it's not bad okay i paid 29 quid a month but i got 100 quid cash back plus um so i've got 100 quid cash back plus three uh google devices which i were able to show the case so really i'm paying after everything it comes to like 10 quid a month which is nothing for me um yeah obviously you can tell that i know i normal search all the time and i don't so let's actually have a look what the rest of the banker actually looks like. Um, so the office is done. Uh, I have got some hue bulbs, if you've actually not noticed, and uh, I use them to actually change the colors sometimes. The majority of the time I don't. And um, yeah, let's actually have a look at what it looks like. So the cable should be okay for us. Um, so first section here, okay. So uh, this is part of my packing station. Uh, really, so it gives a minute, guys. I managed to take this off from the stand, and so I can actually see what I'm recording. So uh, we've actually got here the packing station, and hopefully the audio is picking us up. And we've got a dymo, so not dymo. I wish I had a dymo. And actually, no, I don't wish I have a dymo because you need to buy specific labels. Uh, I simply use the labels from Royal Mail or UPS, uh, so they're free. This is a Rollo thermal printer. Um, I bought it two years ago and it's probably the best investment I've ever actually done for my business, uh, I would actually say. Uh, I've got my eBay tapes and my normal tapes there. And this was my old desk that I was actually using for the backdrops, but I've now obviously just have it there. You can actually see how I've gitted it out and it looks so tight underneath. Uh, don't mind the sarcasm. I've got my Hoover. Uh, I've simply got some bubble wrap there, which I haven't been using because I've been getting quite a lot of stock that already comes with uh, stuff for us. Um, but I guess that's a fucking table. I've got a set of scales there. Obviously, uh, it just means it's more convenient for me to simply now just press that and simply weigh stuff for me. And uh, yeah, it just it's, it's slowly, slowly becoming the way I want it to actually be. And you've actually got also the measuring tape, I always leave it here. Now this is just a mess really of different items that I either need to list or has been listed and has not been sold. Same with above, 
yeah, different Amazon returns, all products I need to actually sell um, for us. Uh, continuing on, sorry, I'll just take my speaker with me, guys. Um, so this is a bike that I've used three times. Um, it is my brother-in-law's bike, but I've got it in my garage. And um, yeah, so I've used it three times. The first time I used it, uh, I didn't know what bike sorts were actually were. And unfortunately, it wasn't a good experience, let's put it at that. We've got a lovely mirror here uh, for ourselves. And my pull-up bar, yeah. It's uh, something that I use not as much as I should. <laughs> These are my rail mail bags that are full of void fill, actually, for his bubble wrap uh, or void fill. Uh, same dedicated. These are all the same. Um, I did buy this for four quid from eBay, from uh, sorry, from a charity shop, thinking I'm going to sell it, but I'm going to keep it for myself. Going in, you've actually have got uh, pieces of wood that I almost think I'm going to use, but I've not been using yet. Um, obviously, my yoga mat. <laughs> Uh, underneath here we've got uh, a dress table with drawers that are empty, need to be filled. Uh, I've recently just put this table there here for us too, for, as extra space uh, for stock coming in. Uh, a lot of them bring stock in and um, I just leave it everywhere so that's why uh, I've just brought another table right for us. Um, we've got the DIY corner, really. Uh, I've got my vinyls, I've actually moved them over there. Uh, but it's simply my DIY corner really of different items and if anyone's thinking what is this silver on top no I'm not inside a microwave it is simply uh, the cheapest way for me to actually get some insulation <laughs> in here um, I've recently I've moved one of the pegboards that has a backdrop and I've actually used it uh, to have uh, my different tools this is my vinyl player yeah so all I need is, I need to make sure that I get an extension lead uh, that brings the power from the back of this so I can actually make sure I charge it. Uh, but yeah, this is my DIY area. This is my photo booth. Yeah, it's quite cool, okay, so I can actually talk to Siri and um, let's say, for example, hey Siri, turn the photo booth blue. Uh, there we go, so for that blue. Um, this is, before I actually had any bulbs, I was actually using um, this for us as a source of light. And this is Adobe um, tripod, yeah. Um, just more stock up there really for us, nothing crazy. Um, I did pick this up yesterday for one pound from Facebook Marketplace. Uh, this is not being sold, I'm keeping this for myself. I'm a massive Harry Potter fan. Especially when this actually looks unread, uh, so I think that's a decent pickup for one quid. Um, this is what the garage looks like um, underneath, really. Sorry, uh, we are resellers, so I think you're interested. This is boxes and more boxes, yeah. Uh, I've got the set full of boxes too. Uh, I've just been very lucky. Uh, I've got an abundance of boxes at this moment in time. I think my cable management's not the best but it's not the worst really um yeah but this is uh this has been my garage i'm not going to edit it much guys i think i'm literally going to leave it as it is and um yeah just leave it as it is and hopefully people have actually enjoyed this i've been this has been two years in the making of actually making my garage and switching it up all the time uh Will I switch it again? Chances are yes, I will switch it again. Yeah, I will switch it again, no doubt. And let's go with the backdrop here. I will switch it again. But um, I absolutely love spending time here, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Yeah, and as always, keep thrifting. Sorry, um, <laughs> I actually forgot. Uh, what I'm recording on everything here is actually I'm using a Sony a7 camera to record everything uh, Placed on that tripod There yeah, so I'm using a Sony a7 camera and my lens uh, for a lot of people that might be interesting My lens is 16 to 50 millimeters. Yeah um, I had to actually buy one from Amazon uh, it was 300 quid, but I was a used one for 80 uh, So that's what I've actually bought and this is what I use for the videos. So now Thanks so much for watching, and as always, keep thrifting.